In this video, we're talking about 4K video editing on the latest Ultrabook. So we just had released the i7-1260P from Intel and the Ryzen 7 6800U in the past couple of months here. And I've been doing rigorous testing for 4K video editing to see if we can ditch the dedicated GPU, get some thin and light Ultrabooks in the house and do some 4K video editing on the go with these Windows laptops. Now, I will be reviewing the MacBook Air in the coming month or so. So know that that is why that one is not included in this moment because I do not have personal experience with it. And I will do a full video covering Windows laptops versus the Apple ecosystem as far as the MacBook Air is concerned once I get that testing completed. But for now, we're doing Ryzen and Intel in this battle off. Battle off, battle match, battle off, battle up. All right, let's move forward. First and foremost, the thing I wanted to look at most was playback. 4K playback to me was not really possible on mobile processors up until this year with the release of Ryzen 6000 series and Intel 12th gen. I really recommended people have an H series processor with a dedicated GPU or a you know Ryzen mobile processor or an Intel mobile processor with a dedicated GPU, which was pretty rare. There was a few that came out last year. They did well, something like the Acer Swift X or the MSI Summit E16. Those were some examples of mobile processors with dedicated GPUs, but it still just left me wanton. It just didn't get great battery life. It didn't get the best performance. So it's kind of like this worst of both worlds, maybe like decent performance, but bad battery life. I want either great performance or great battery life at that point. But now we get great performance and great battery life. So let's jump into the test again, 4K playback. What we're seeing out of the i7-1260P processors is very similar to what we're seeing out of the Ryzen processors. At fourth quality 4K playback in a timeline with motion graphics, B-roll, some music, we're seeing about 18 to 20 drop frames at fourth quality. And then as we go to full quality, we're seeing anywhere from about the 500 range of drop frames with the Ryzen processor, all the way down to 239 with the Intel processor out of the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. So the laptops I'm using, sorry, I forgot to mention, is the Asus ZenBook S13 OLED with the Ryzen 7 6800U. The Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 with the i7-1260P and the Lenovo Yoga 9i Gen 7 with the i7-1260P. So those are the test benchmarks. Now, things got a little bit spread out as we moved on to the export. So once you go to export that footage from the ZenBook, we saw an export time of 6 minutes and 37 seconds, the, the longest export. From there, we saw 5 minutes and 47 seconds out of the Yoga 9i. And then out of the Samsung, we saw 4 minutes and 37 seconds. So the best export time, the most optimized setup between Intel and an OEM brand was going to come out of Samsung. So if you're looking for on-the-go 4K video editing, this would be your top pick. It's also in second place for battery life. The best battery life came out of the ZenBook with the Ryzen processor at around 13 hours of battery life, followed up closely by about 12 hours of battery life out of the Samsung, and then around the 11 hours of battery life mark. This is all for productivity tasks out of the Yoga 9i. As we moved on to doing 4K video editing on battery, the battery life results were about four hours for the ZenBook, about three hours and 43 minutes for the Samsung, and then in the low three hour mark for the Yoga 9i. So if you want max battery life, I'd go for the ZenBook. If you want best performance matched with the second place of battery life, I'd go for the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360. Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. Now there is also an option of a ZenBook 14X with an i7-1260P. And I'll link the, all these down in the description below for you to check out the pricing and availability of each one. Currently on the market, there's an i7-12700H inside of an Ultrabook. It was kind of an attempt to put a really powerful processor in an Ultrabook to see how well it performed. If you want to watch that video, if you're trying to decide between, you know, H series processor and a mobile laptop versus you know the classic mobile processor in an Ultrabook, then you can definitely click or tap the screen here. Otherwise, if you're ready to make a purchase of one of these laptops, links will be in the description below. Likes of this video has brought you some value and subs if you don't wanna miss out on the future uploads. I'll see y'all here in the next one.